Hello, I am Suzette, Dream Team member here at Art Anthology. Today, I am going to show you how you can use the Rust texture set on a sardine tin to create a one-of-a-kind work of art. Our substrate for this project is a sardine tin. We're going to be using the Art Anthology Rust set which consists of rust amber sorbet medium, terracotta velvet, and truffle stone effects. We're also going to use the art anthology stone effects in lava. We'll need washi tape to cover the edges of the tin so we don't cut ourselves and we're also going to need any old book paper or scrapbook paper that you have. Here's another washi tape just to add interest and we're going to be using any embellishment you have, these are um, Tim Holtz um, for our project. To stick everything in place, well to stick our paper in place we're going to be using matte medium and to stick these in place I would recommend an embellishment glue that can stick metal or um, a heavy gel medium. Alright let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to cover those sharp edges so we don't cut ourselves. So use your washi tape to cover those edges. You can use masking tape as well. I'm just using washi tape because I figured it will add some interest to the piece. Okay, great. Now that's fully covered. I'm going to add some book paper to the inside. I have my matte medium hair. You can also use Mod Podge. And I'm just going to cover inside like that. Great, now we're going to leave that to dry. Now that's dry, we're going to add some gesso. We 
You don't have to completely cover the area with gesso. We can leave some of the writing showing through. It adds a lot of visual interest. What you can do is just give it a quick light coat and then you can use a paper towel, baby wipe or cloth and um, just take some off in areas that you don't want it to be that, that um, prominent. Still be careful of the edges even though they're covered they're still a bit sharp. And as that's drying, you can do the sides. You can do the bottom as well, if you like. I would recommend waiting until the top is dry though. Allow this to dry and then we're going to add our Art Anthology paints. Now we're going to use our Art Anthology Stone Effects in Lava to paint the insides, the inside sides of the tin. This will add great texture and nice dimension to the piece. We're also going to paint the edges of the hair. And just randomly add some in the tin. We can go back and add more to the outside when we're finished. Actually gonna wipe back bits and pieces here and there. Keep that word. Okay, now we're going to use our rust set. How the rust set works is that you use these two colors to create a base in your, on your painting canvas, whatever you're doing, and then you use this color to accent. So I'm going to begin adding some. You can use a palette knife if you prefer. It's very thick. It's a nice texture. Or you can use your paintbrush. So I'm just going to go ahead and just apply some in areas where I know I want the rust. And apply some more down here. I 
and again on the front. We can also do the sides, but I'm waiting for inside to be dry, then I'll go ahead and do the sides just how I did on the inside. Now we're going to add the terracotta. I don't want it completely dry because I do want it to blend. And you can see immediately how that rusty color starts coming. See, now my entire tin looks rusty. Let me adjust the light and see if you can see it a bit better. I will also add some to the outside. Do the inside edges if you like. Now we're going to go ahead and accent it with the gold. I'm just going to give it a little dry first. You can add as much of the red um, terracotta velvet as you like. It depends on how red and rusty you want it to look. It really is just trial and error, kind of going back and forth until you achieve the look that you want. I'm going to go ahead and add some to those sides again. And I'm going to let that dry and see how it is then and then we'll determine if we need to add more or we can bring back some white some sparkles we'll see it's actually a bit dark right now so I decided to add back some white by adding some splatters Okay, while this is drying, I'm just going to go around the edges that we didn't do, the sides are rather. I'm applying the Stone Effects Lava Paint to the sides. And I'm going to let that dry and add a little of the Rustin paint to it to tie it back in with the rest of the piece.
I'm going to allow that to dry. And then we're going to add our embellishments to the middle and the rust in to the edges. Okay, now the black is dry. We're going to go ahead and add some rust to that, just as we did before. So I'm going to add some brown, the plum rust. You don't have to do it in all areas. And then I'm going to add the red, <clears throat> the terracotta velvet. I'm going to wipe back some hair because I think it's a bit too much. Some hair. Add a bit more of the terracotta. So basically, you just go back and forth here until you're happy with the the rust look, just as you did before. Once you're finished, you can go ahead. and add some of the gold to highlight. Okay, I gave it a spray of varnish and um, more white splatters and now I'm ready to attach all my little embellishments. I'm also going to use one of these little stickers from my Tim Holtz collection. So the first thing we're going to need of course is our gel medium to stick down stuff. Depending on what you're sticking down, um, regular glue is fine. I am going to add some of this, probably just quicker with my finger, even though I'm probably not supposed to do that. Ha uh ha. -huh. And I'm just going to kind of play with these until I'm happy with how they're arranged. So I think I like that right there, adding back some of those words that we lost. And then we also have this. This is just a piece of gauze. Like what you'd um, bandage your hand or foot, whatever with. Um, and this is a piece of corrugated cardboard. To play around with your arrangement first before you stick it down. That way, once you start sticking, you don't have to stop. I'm going to put that there. And I also am going to add a little bit more gauze right there. And then to finish off, I might, I haven't decided yet, but I might just add one of these, these words. I think I'm going to use the word imagine. That right there. Okay, let me just move this up a little bit more. So 
so I can fit the word imagine right there. And there we go.